Now, even though I showed earlier the radial nerve can be seen in the anterior portion of the elbow, I include that as a, port, as a component of my focused or as my lateral elbow examination. So I'm going to place the patient's, I'm going to extend her at the elbow here. Again, use that bony landmark of the trochlea and identify the radial nerve. Now this is a portion of my lateral elbow examination because pathology involving the radial nerve can mimic pathology involving the common extensor tendon and other structures in the lateral elbow. So identifying the radial nerve, we see it as almost a, like a football-shaped structure here. You can see that fascicular appearance with the hypoechoic nerve fascicles and their intervening hyperechoic perineural and epineural tissue. The nerve is identified between the brachioradialis and the brachialis muscles. If you trace the nerve proximally, you can see it course and lie against the humerus in the spiral groove. So this is why um, fractures of the humerus can involve or cause um, pathology of the radial nerve.